Before we jump to the next lab, I want to show you some tips and tricks about pin command. Pin is one of the most commonly used troubleshooting tools to verify network connectivity. When you initiate the pin from router 1 to router 5, did you know which interface's IP was used as the source IP on router 1? As you can see, router 1 has two active interfaces. One is the serial number 2 slash 0 and the other one is the loopback interface 64.64.1.1 By default, a router uses its outgoing interface IP as the source IP. However, you can tell the router to use a different interface IP for this ping job. Here I'm going, I'm going to show you how to do that. Back to our lab. This is router 1. As you can see, it has two active interfaces. Serial interface 2 slash 0 and the loopback 0. When I initiate the ping to router 5, I can pin it and the router 5 responded. From this debugging output on router 5, you can tell router 1 used its serial interface 2 slash 0 as a source IP. From router 5's perspective, it's sending the ping response back to router 1 as using the destination IP 6464.12.1, which is router 1's serial interface. Now, on router 1, when you do the ping command, you can put a destination 64.64.25.5. When you put a question mark, you can see a bunch of options available to you. One of the options is called source. It specifies source IP or name. Then you put a question mark. It shows you all the interfaces that you could use as the source of this ping command. Here, I'm going to use the loopback zero interface as a source to ping router 5. Ping successful. And now, on router 5, you can see it's responding back to router 1 on this loopback interface 64.64.1.1. By keeping this in mind, let's configure router 2 based on the following requirements. Deny all traffic source from router 1 to router 5 while allow anything else. Here's the configuration I'm going to put on router 2 based on the information we've learned. On router 2, let's check what IPs are active on router 2. Show IP interface brief pipe include up. This command will only show you the interfaces that are active and with IP address. Now I'm going to config a access list that based on requirement. Deny all traffic source from router 1 to router 5 and allow anything else. So since this is involving not only the source IP but also the destination, I have to use an extended access control list. Access list and the numbers. The extended access list starts from 100, so I'm just going to use 100. Then permit, no, deny. Any traffic coming from router 1 to router 5, I will say deny host router 1's IP. Oops, deny. IP host 64.64.12.1 that's router 1's IP and the destination host 64.64.25.5 then I will have to permit anything else if you do not do the next command all the traffic will be denied Permit IP any any. Okay, let's see what um, the configuration looks like. 
here's the, our configuration let's validate if it's working I'm gonna put it up here so you can see it this is router 1 I'm, gonna, I'm going to do the same ping command ping 64.64.25.5 looks it's working still working what's wrong let's check access list deny from source to destination and permit anything else the access list looks right oh now we know what I missed we did not apply this access list to router 2's income interface to take effect now you understand why I told you an access list does not deny or permit traffic it, so it only qualifies traffic and send it to an action command to either permit or deny here's what I'm gonna do on router, first I'm gonna show uh, what is configured on the router 2 serial interface show interface serial 2 slash 0 this is what's configured on router 2's interface I'm going to apply this access list to its serial interface 2 slash 0 IP access group then you specify the access list name which we did is 100 now is this inbound traffic or outbound traffic if you understand my lecture earlier you know this is a inbound traffic coming from router 1 so there's no way you can mistakenly put it out outbound here so it's in okay now let's do the ping again from router 1 to router 5 it is blocked as you can see on router 5 you don't see any response coming from router 5 most people think that's it actually you are not done yet from router 1 I'm going to initiate the ping to router 5 remember I told you something that I can ping off a different interface's IP address here on router 1 I'm going to source the ping from its loopback interface loopback 0 oops I can still ping so it's not so your requirement is not done yet because the requirement is that deny all traffic coming from router 1 apparently we need to add some more items in the access list to work on an existing access list you cannot simply add the next line because if you do so I'll show you the effect access list 100 you want to permit IP host coming from router 1's loopback interface and to destination by doing this you have a problem see this line is simply added to the bottom of this access list 100 if this access list statements are evaluated in a sequential order the last line will not be evaluated now I have added all the IPs belongs to router 1 and router 5 this IP is also covered in the destination now let's try a ping command again ping I cannot ping router 5's interface ethernet 1 slash 2's IP now let's try its loopback IP I cannot ping either what about using my loopback to ping router 5 nope let's try pinging its router 5 side loopback using my loopback IP I cannot pin either okay I think the requirement is all met